welcome to Old Elks on the Bar second segment. I am very excited to introduce our guest bartenders today. So we've got uh, Miss Kat Lamp from Boston, Somerville, Somerville area, and Mr. Carlo Carrasco, also from the Boston, Somerville uh, area. I've had the pleasure of knowing these guys for a couple of years now, and it's definitely an honor to be here with you. Kat's gonna join us for the first half of our session uh, for about the first half hour or so. Um, so if you're a big fan of this cat lamp, uh, that's where you're gonna wanna check her out. And uh, then Carl is gonna join us for the second half. Two awesome bartenders. They run a great program in Somerville and Boston. Uh, they make delicious cocktails. They're very knowledgeable. I'm super excited to share our virtual on the bar with them today. Um, and I'm psyched to have you all tuning in with us. Um, so we're going to start off with a little uh, two truths and a lie. So my uh, two truths and a lie are all animal related because it's something that we have in common. We all love animals. Um, and uh, my first uh, is I have once um, helped herd sheep in Transylvania. Okay. My second is I have ridden the tallest horse in Minnesota. All right. And what my third, tall, the tall, tall, it was a Percheron horse, the tallest of the tall. What kind of horse? A Percheron. Percheron, okay. Yeah, it's one of the big ones that pulls plows and stuff like that. One of the big guys. Okay. And then my third is I have once put my hand into the stomach of a live goat. Gross. <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to guess that your first uh, truth is that you have herded sheep in Venezuela because you're pretty cool. I have, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then I'm going to guess that your second truth is that you have that you've ridden uh, the tallest horse because you know a lot. You seem to know a lot about what that would mean. <laughs> Yeah, a little so I'm gonna guess, with that one, gave it away. Yeah, the, the hand. So I'm gonna guess your uh, your your lie then is that you once put your hand into a live uh, goat. Yeah, because I once put my hand into the stomach of a live cow. Mm. It was a cow, not a goat. <laughs> so I am making um, a fun cocktail that is kind of in the Boulevardier or Negroni family. Um, this is called the Left Hand of Darkness and it's uh, named for a classic sci-fi novel. I know that's another thing that we have in common is that we're all you know, big fans of sci-fi. And um, this cocktail kind of showcases the old elk bourbon. We've got one and a half ounces of that. And kind of the nice thing about this bourbon is that, you know, it has that high barley content. So it's kind of a mellow bourbon, actually works really well with the other ingredients in this cocktail. And I kind of pre-measured everything. So I'm a little bit of a mad scientist over there making this for you guys. So I've got some uh, sweet vermouth here, three quarters of an ounce, half ounce of, uh, it's like an orange bitter liqueur. And then just a quarter ounce of a different Amaro. And you could kind of play with uh, some different Amari in this context. The ratio itself seems to work out pretty well, especially when you have, you know, like a, a nice bourbon to kind of pull everything together. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this left hand of darkness a nice quick stir. Them. I'll show you Facebook side as well. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. So uh, speaking of Darth Vader, um, would you consider yourself like more of a Star Wars uh, bartender or more of a uh, Harry Potter bartender? Oh man, that's like the hardest question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you had to choose the, between the two. Oh man, um, I honestly, I'd probably uh, answer that differently every single day. I'd probably switch between the two, which means that we should have like some kind of uh, 
some kind of like combination series. I'm thinking like wizards in outer space, uh, fighting with lasers. <laughs> I mean, anything is possible, you know. Alrighty, two truths and a lie. So number one is I'm wearing bright red rain boots right now. <laughs> number two is I've seen Bruce Springsteen live in concert uh, at least 15 times. Okay. And That's like very believable because you love the boss. Love the boss. The only boss yeah. we're listening to. And then number three would be... Oh crap, what was number three, Mel? <laughs> uh, number three is, we got the boss. Yep. Uh, very two, red boots. Oh yeah, my aunt babysat Tommy Hilfiger. Like the actual Tommy Hilfiger? The, yeah, he's the a real person. Fashion person? It's not yep. just a label. Yep. Okay. Not yet. Okay, well, there's one easy way to find out if you're uh, if you're telling the truth about those boots. Let's see. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> you barely lift my leg that high. <laughs> That's all right. You're out of shape. I'm not shaking too many drinks. <laughs> Were you telling the truth, Carlo? So my. Aunt did babysit Tommy Hilfiger. He's from Elmira, New York, which is a very small town in upstate New York, uh, which is where my father's side of the family is from. Uh, my aunt, my other aunt was also friends with uh, Eileen Collins when she was a kid. So uh, she was one of the first women in space. So kind of weird. Was your, was your aunt like some famous person or she just like was in the right place at the right time? First woman in space grew up like four doors down. So. <laughs> They were the friends. Um, but I have only seen Bruce Springsteen live like five times. So I got to I gotta work on that. Yeah, you got to work on that. Yeah. That's uh, five times more than I've seen Bruce Springsteen. You should work on that. I, sh I should. I should. You're right. <laughs> um, all right, Carla. Well, what are you going to make for us? I know you got a cocktail in the, yeah. in the wings there. I think this is going to be a nice crowd pleaser. I'm going to make you guys a French 95. Cheers, Carlo. Can't see Kat on Instagram, but she's on our Facebook. Cheers, Kat. <laughs> she's got an awesome uh, Darth Vader glass, too. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks for showing up, Boston and Somerville. We love you guys. Um, Carlo, Kat, you guys are amazing. Thank you for uh, posting with me. And thank you to Old Elk. Um, we're going to continue this program. So if there's any bartenders out there that are watching and you want to be on our next segment, please let us know. Um, again, this is, you know, our initiative to help put some money back in your pockets while you're out of work and can't, you know, see your folks, your people, your guests. So cheers, everyone. We love you guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to say hi. Who's that? That's Charlie. Hey, Charlie.